Hi everyone. I had someone request from my last video to show how I put the star effect on the lights in this image. And made it look like this. So this is just a really quick tutorial on how I did that. First, I open the image in Photoshop. What I'm going to be doing is adding a motion blur effect to the white lights that I have down at the bottom of the image. The first thing I need to do is to duplicate my background layer. So on the right hand side, I'm going to either drag the background down to this duplicate icon here, or you can just click on Command J if you're on a Mac. So now I have a background copy. The next thing that I want to do is to make a levels layer. So down here where it says create new fill or adjustment layer, I click on that and I choose levels. Now you have down here the options for this levels layer and this left hand side there is a slider. I want to take this black slider, now not the one at the bottom, but the one up higher where the histogram is. I'm going to take this black slider and I'm going to drag it all the way to the right. And what you're going to see happening is all of the darker areas of the image disappearing. And I'm left with just the brightest areas, which happen to be the sun, the clouds, and the lights down at the bottom. And that's what I want. Once I've done that, I want to paint over the areas that I do not want to apply the star effect to. So in this case, it's the cloud and the sun. So I'm just gonna create an empty layer. So create a new layer over here on the right. And then on this layer, I'm gonna use my brush, my paint brush over at the left brush tool. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna make sure at the bottom here that I'm on black and that at the top it's at the normal mode and the opacity is 100%. Now I'm gonna take this black brush and I'm going to paint over all of the areas that are showing up that I do not want the star effect to be applied to. Okay, so that's done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to merge these layers. You can do it with smart layers, but for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to merge the layers. So what I want to merge is the layer one, the levels one, and the background copy. Okay, so I can hold command and select all three, or control if you're on a Windows, and then I'm just going to right click on them, go down and select merge layers. Great, so now I have my background, and just my white lights. Now you're only seeing the white lights because of the blending mode that I have here. So you can go up to where it says normal here. This is your blending mode for the layer that is selected. So I'm gonna change that from normal to screen. Okay, so now you're going to see the image the way that it was before. But what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take this level one, sorry, layer one, I'm going to take this layer one where the lights are and I'm going to apply a motion blur. Actually, I'm going to apply several motion blurs. But what I'm going to do is first I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to explain why. I'm going to take layer one and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to rename them just to keep things clear. So layer one, I'm going to rename star 45 degrees. So this is the angle that I'm going to have at 45 degrees, the 45 degree part of the star. Now I'm going to name layer one copy to star minus 45 degrees. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have a simple four point star with uh, two 45 degree angles and this is how I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to apply the motion blur effect. 
I'm going to go to the first one, star 45 degrees, and then I'm going to go up to the top where it says filter and down to blur and then motion blur. First thing I'm going to do is make sure the angle is at 45 degrees and the distance, you can put the distance as big or as little as you want. As you're watching the screen, the preview screen behind, it'll show you how far out you're making it. So I'm going to leave it around 260. If I can reach there, oh, 262, that's fine. And you'll see that the motion blur effect is giving us one angle of the star, but it's kind of boxy. So I'm going to apply this. I'm going to click OK. And as I said, it's kind of boxy. And what I can do to fix that is I can apply that same filter two more times. You can apply it as many times as you like, as you see uh, fits your creative vision, but I'm going to apply it two more times. So instead of going to filter, blur, motion blur, this time I'm just going to go to this very top one, motion blur, and it's going to repeat what I did the time before. And then I'm going to do it again. That's a nice quick way at the top of the filters menu, you always have your last one used up at the top and you can easily apply it again. So now I have that applied three times and I can see the star starting to take shape. Now I'm gonna go up to my star minus 45 degrees layer and I'm going to apply the motion blur effect again. But I don't want to use this last filter used shortcut because I want to apply it at minus 45 degrees. So I'm going to go back down to blur, motion blur, and I'm just going to put a minus in front of the angle here and I'm going to click OK. And just like the last time, I am going to apply that effect two more times to that layer. Okay, so things are taking shape. I can see the star that I have there, the stars. However, they're not as bright as I would like them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two layers, star 45 and star minus 45, and I'm going to select them both by holding down either the shift or command key and selecting both. And I'm going to right click on them. I'm going to group them. And I'm going to call the group star. And now to make this as bright as I want it, all I have to do is duplicate this layer. So let's see how many times I have to duplicate it to make it look the way I want. So you can hit Command J or you can drag it down to this icon here. So I'm going to do that. I think I might duplicate it three more times. I think that looks really bold and very cool. So that's it. That is a very simple walkthrough as to how you create a star effect on the light areas of an image. Thanks guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.